And this is my Canon gun safe. I finally got around to getting it into my closet. I bought this thing back in June. But that was up north in my parents' house in New York. And I went up there the summer for a little while and brought it back down with me. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is exactly the location I want yet. I mean, it's in my closet here. It's pretty big, but it's still taking up half my closet. Uh, I got a hallway closet I was considering putting it in. So I haven't anchored it to the floor yet. I figured I would... Uh, See how I like this location first. Uh, this is a cannon. It supposedly holds 24 long guns. I don't know if I really believe that. They had to be right on top of each other to fit that many. Uh, I bought it at uh, Tractor Supply for $499. I figured that was pretty cheap uh, for what it is. Uh, if I continue buying, especially if I buy uh, any real valuable firearms, I'm going to upgrade, buy one a little bit bigger. Uh, this got a better fire rating and uh it'll take a little bit more to break into i mean this one's only about five or 550 pounds and uh myself i could probably get into it my in probably 15 or 20 minutes but you'd be making so much noise and the houses are right next to each other and i got good neighbors on both sides <clears throat> and they come with three different locks i don't know i mean what you can get the dial to is three different digital locks i kind of like the digital just quicker to get into but uh it doesn't make sense why the guy has so damn many, so you got to figure out how to program the lock depending on which, which one they put on it. I still haven't bought any lights for the inside yet. I bought a couple accessories. I mean, I bought this cheap pistol rag. It was like $24 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, I mean, it holds six, six pistols. I was uh, planning on buying, uh, I don't know what the hell those are, just a door rack. I can't find them nowhere around here. Maybe Bass Pro Shop will have it, but everything at Bass Pro is so out of this world price that I might as well just order it online. Uh, this is just a little bit of my ammo stuck in here. I still got uh, this safe here. I got a couple of these around the house, and this is what I used to keep my handguns in. But I just got ammo separated in it for right now. It's 45 Colt, 9mm, 40, and 410. And then in that uh, drawer, there's some reloads, and uh, I think there's some 12 gauge and 30 30. Back in here, there's a few things I, I need to upgrade. Uh, the interior is alright. I mean, it's not the best. And as far as these long guns, uh, I got, I'm got i going to build some kind of uh, stand on the bottom because some of them quite, aren't quite long enough to fit all the way up in this. I got one over here. And these carbine length rifles, they just barely get up to the notches. And uh, the way they are, they kind of move around. So I'm going to build something to put on the base uh, so it kind of holds them into place so they're not moving around like they are. Uh, up here, I just got a few of my holsters and mags sitting here. Uh, a few handguns. And, uh, I don't know, just some gun cleaning stuff and the bluing kit. And there's, uh, 500 or 1,000, uh, 115 grain 9 millimeter reloads in there. I think for Christmas this year, maybe I'll buy myself a new press. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've used, uh, one of my buddy's single stages before when we loaded all that. But, I don't know, it just took forever. Pain in the ass. I want to buy a Dylan Progressive or maybe a Hornady Progressive. I don't know, I've never used them before, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure I can figure it out. i got a couple friends that reload, and I can uh, kidnap them for a while so they can teach me what the hell I'm doing. I'm just sick of paying this high dollar for all this ammo, especially this 45 automatic. I mean, that's all the 45 auto I have. Those two boxes there and those other three. I mean, this one, of course, is my, uh, the PDX one, of course, is my, uh, home defense and carry around. I prefer the, the Rangers or the PDX ones and some of the core bond. I just like uh, the bonded bullets. I don't really like uh, the separation. I mean, that Powerball stuff, I don't think that's bonded, but that feeds good in my 380s. That Diamondback is kind of finicky on ammo. <laughs> and I, <clears throat> man, like some of my throw, I bought this Fiocchi stuff for, my, for that Diamondback and I would not recommend it. I just figured it'd be something different, and it doesn't feed worth a damn. And that PMC doesn't either in that Diamondback. 
But that cheap Blazer aluminum feeds great, and that uh, the cheaper S and B stuff that feeds all right, and the Federal does too. It just that uh, pistol just seems really finicky on what it wants to spit out, and I had nothing but trouble with that Fiocchi. I wish I wouldn't have bought that stuff. I mean, one out of every two or three, I was having stove pipes, all kinds of problems. Uh, and up here, I just got. A range bag, a couple sets of earmuffs, and uh, my single action uh, leather belt holster, whatever you call them. Uh, I guess that's it. Maybe I'll make a follow up when I do some more of the modifications. Uh, I was going to buy one of those tube dehumidifiers because these safes do have electricity to them. It's got a plug that goes to the wall where I think you could put 9 volt batteries in to provide the power, but I got a plug right by here. If I want to plug it in, I'll plug it in. I don't know if I'm going to buy some just like rope lights and put a switch in here. Uh, so I got rope lights going the whole way around. Or if I'm just going to get uh, some of those lights that will stick to the bottom of the shelves that are uh, battery powered. You just push on and off. I'm, I'm not sure at this point. I'm going to have to get some lights in there though. I mean, it's, it's pretty dark. And uh, I don't know for the money. Uh, these are tractor supply. It depends on where you're at. Down here in South Carolina, they're five ninety nine, but in New York it was four ninety nine, and you're getting a pretty good safe for the money. I mean, they're all about the same. I think these cheaper entry level safes, the Century, the uh, that Buckhorn or whatever it's called, they sell at Costco. But that one I didn't really like because that one only weighed like four hundred pounds and it was the same size. At least this one weighs like five or five and a half, so it's got a little more heft to it. I know Dick Sporting Goods, they had a pretty good sale going on right now, too. It was, uh, they were all like 10 to 20% off, I think, they had in the store. They had one around the same size, but I think they claimed it held 26 or 28, and it was a, it was either a Century or a Field and Stream, and it was a pretty nice safe. I mean, we had the same one, uh, at my old club that, uh, we used to keep all of our money in, and, uh, it was decent for what it was, and that was 500 right now i saw the other day uh I don't know if any of you guys are interested just send me a message i can try to help you out uh this thing was pretty easy to move really i moved it with a 71 year old man so and it still had the crate on the bottom we laid it down ourselves and took it off and stood it back up and moved around so if, the two, if my half crippled ass and an old fart can move it i guess anybody can and as far as when we took it out of my truck, my next door neighbor, he's a retired older man too in the 60s. And two of us uh, lowered it down onto the ground. But when we loaded it, it took, I don't know, three or four of us to shove the thing up and then about killed me. But I don't know, I guess this is a good starter safe. If you don't have one and you really want one uh, and you don't have anything extra, extra valuable, uh, this is good enough. But, uh, I don't know. If I had to do it over again, maybe I would have spent a little extra money. But if I, uh, if I buy another, I'll, I'll put the 1500 2000 3000 up, whatever it's going to cost me to get a, a real safe. It's, uh, I don't know. It's got like an hour, two hour burn rating and a lot heavier gauge steel. 